Yes, yes, and yes. Good morning to you, and I, and I believe you're fine. I believe you're good. Hallelujah. We are sharing truth this morning on It Shall All Turn Out Fine, coming from Romans chapter 8, 26 through 30. You are warmly welcome this morning to the Really, Really Knowing God channel. I am Pastor Larry Adeneko. The channel is packaged to inform and inspire you into a real knowledge of the very real God that we serve, powered by the Pastor Larry Adeneko Center for Ejuspiration, the PLACE. <music> This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of Jesus Christ. If you desire to really understand this fantastic God of ours, this is your favorite channel. <clears throat> Shall we pray now? Our Father and God, we bless your name, O oh God. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for your help to us here at all time. Ready help we have enjoyed from you, Lord. And this morning again, we claim in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ to so your praise and glory. Thank you in advance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8 and 26. <clears throat> Excuse me. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know all things work together for good for those who love God, those who are called according to his purpose. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he may be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, uh, whom he predestined, this he also called, whom he called, this he also justified, and who he justified, this he also glorified. A good place to pause and, and share something uh, together this morning <clears throat> before we go to work. It begins with likewise. Likewise means just the same way. The same way as what? Remember that we had been um, um, talking about a number of things before. We spoke about how that we, because of the limitations of this body, uh, we moan, we groan and all that. So it's likewise all these things that we're talking about, the limitations and all that. So the Spirit also helps us in our weaknesses. Weaknesses, limitations, we're talking about the same thing. Praise God. So the Spirit also helps us in our weaknesses, in our limitations, in our shortcomings, in the areas where we are not up to. Yeah, it helps us in this area because many times we don't even know what to pray for the way we ought to know. We ought to know, but for some reason we don't even know. Okay, um, either lack of knowledge or when we are overwhelmed, you know, with one thing or the other and uh, we are weighed down and things like that. We don't even know what to say anymore. Yeah, it happens a lot. I mean, God help us in Jesus' mighty name. The businesses of life at times can weigh someone you down so much that even to open his mouth to say something, only tears will just be flowing. And I want to identify with somebody this morning. I want you to know that God sees those, your tears. The Bible says that our high priest is such that can identify, that knows, that is touched by the feelings of our infirmities not just the infirmities the feeling of it the way it is happening to you and you are the only one that knows that bit um anybody around me say sorry but who <laughs> if you feel it knows it you know so um he, but the bible says that he knows it he, he can feel with us he can be touched the way we are and this morning i told that the lord will indeed touch you heal you give you confidence and new hopes give you make you see a light at the end of the tunnel in the mighty name of jesus christ so likewise <clears throat> we get weak when it comes to that very very important issue of prayer but the spirit of god helps us at it so he says that but the spirit now makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered and that's one of the and he who searches the heart of the uh, such as hearts knows the mind of the spirit is because he makes intercession for the sins according to the will of god this is very important it is important for you to get the holy ghost now everybody has a deposit of the holy spirit the day the instant instant you get born again but this being filled with the holy ghost being baptized with the holy spirit is very important because at that time when those things come upon you either because of lack of knowledge because of negligence or because of you are just overwhelmed with issues and you really cannot pray properly the spirit of god will begin to make intercession for you the little more trains you make that may be meaningless to somebody who is around you 
you uh, uh, that um, instead of putting together in words, you can't even put any coherent words together. You are just grunting and 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 sighing and and moaning because of the depth of what you are going through. The Spirit of God will use even those things. Oh, hallelujah! He will use even those sounds, even those things. He will turn them into appropriate prayer. Hallelujah! Believe me. As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing better, nothing bigger than the new covenant. And I pray that everybody will understand this new covenant in the name of Jesus Christ. And I laugh at some people. You don't even understand this new covenant. You are talking about the book of the Revelation. You can never understand. You can never appreciate it. You can never have a revelation of what it's all about if you do not understand the new covenant. Praise God. This new covenant is a perfect arrangement from God. He says, when we go through stuff, even those moanings, those groans, that bit of grunting, that sighing, that, uh, you know, just making incoherent sounds. You know, at times some people just have a way of sighing repeatedly. You will sigh and then sigh again. You know, I said to somebody a couple of uh, uh, weeks ago, I said, did you know that you have sighed? You have, you have made that sighing sound. This is the sixth time you are making it, you know, before me. She looked up, she was surprised. Yeah, they happen. But you see, the Bible is saying that even those sounds... The Spirit of God converts them into appropriate prayer. Somebody clap for the Holy Spirit this morning. Converts them into appropriate prayer. Now, it says, God who searches all hearts. <laughs> he's saying that he knows what is in the mind of the Spirit. In other words, he searches even the mind of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. He searches even the mind of the Holy Spirit. And so what the Holy Spirit intends for you at that point in time, in the, at that moment, what the Holy Spirit is helping you to carry, to convert into appropriate prayer, God gets to know because he searches even the mind of the Spirit. Hallelujah. You know, <clears throat> he says, knows what the mind of the Spirit is because in intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Hallelujah. I think if you don't have the Holy Ghost, um, if you don't have the baptism of the Holy Ghost, look for it this morning and talk to somebody. Somebody will lay hands on for you guide you through it because this is a game changer praise god and then we know that all things work together for good for those who love god who are called according, according to his purpose that's it it is because of the spirit that all things work together for good believe me it shall all turn out fine in the mighty name of jesus because i said that to somebody this morning it shall all turn out fine just believe these things i'm saying if you don't have the baptism of the holy spirit plan go and get the baptism of the holy spirit whatever it is you are going through it shall all turn out fine because of the holy spirit he will convert those your grown sin and those your moanings and those your signs and and those your tears and um <clears throat> you know things you can't you can't even that lump in your throat believe me he will convert everything into appropriate prayer and everything will turn out just fine in the mighty name of jesus christ because of the holy spirit because you see you are among those who love god and you are called according to his purpose therefore these things are going to apply to you when turn to round it off and says for those who him for you he predestined to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren he's talking about the church you know, God has this about this very big thing about, about him, foreknowledge. That's what he's saying here. For those whom he foreknew. <clears throat> We're going to talk, to, come to this foreknowledge when we get to Romans chapter 9. Let somebody please remember that time that we spoke about foreknowledge. He foreknew. Hallelujah. So those who, from concerning whom he has a foreknowledge, because of that foreknowledge now, he has made arrangement for them to be conformed to the image of Jesus. In other words, Jesus becomes for us a prototype or a template, you know, for us to follow, to build our lives upon upon to pattern our lives upon to shape you know things after that's it uh, some mold okay if you like so a mold but, you know you know where you have a mold everything you point to that mold and when it gets dry it takes the shape of that mold yeah it's saying that we should be conformed to the image of jesus he's our mold he's our template and everything that happens on account of that follows after that example glory be to jesus christ i love the new covenant believe me <clears throat> Hallelujah. So he just went on that he may be the firstborn among the brethren, and then he ran so up. Moreover, those of us whom he predestined, remember, predestined is coming because of the foreknow. Hallelujah. Because of the foreknowledge. Yeah. And then the, he called us, justified us, and glorified. Believe me, there's a glory that is coming. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm excited about this glory thing, honestly. There's a glory that is coming. And I pray that everybody will just 
you know, get to understand and share this and appreciate it. There is a glory that is coming, uh, making me know that no matter what we see today, the word of God shall be fulfilled. No matter how the church looks at this point in time, we shall be turned the right side up in the name of Jesus Christ. And that's a great glory coming. I rejoice at it. I welcome it. I'm waiting for it. I'm keen into it. I'm preparing myself for it. And I pray that somebody will do that this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing time with us this morning. I believe God that you're going to have a fantastic day. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Help us to please Give us thumbs up, share, share, share. Amen.